Hey, welcome to Planet Crafter. Jumo here. Well, I just wanted to say that with this new portal, now what I would recommend is that when you're doing this, I know there's all these different gems. Go to all the Pulsar Court ones. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got no food on me. Now, this portal I'm going through right now, this is just three um, Pulsar Court ones. And what I typically do is after I go through the ship, the uh, ship's around here somewhere, I run around the grounds, look for every last crate. There's crates all over the grounds. And I will show you why in a minute. I've already gone through this one. Oh, little wormy's coming through me, with me. Now, that's all I've been doing is the Pulsar Court once. Now, there's a reason for this. These are all the gems I've gotten. And trees galore. I also even got a trade rocket multiplier and a whole bunch of microchips. <laughs> Solar Court ones. And a light box. Just from doing the Pulsar Quartz. You can see all the different gems I've found already. And that's doing just easy ones. Now these vary. Uh, let's see, we'll go into here, we'll close this portal. We'll go back in. Now sometimes it'll offer to you. Now I'm not sure of the rarity and the difficulty. Now if you don't like it, scan again. Now this one didn't give us just Pulsar Quartz scan again. You can just keep doing this until you get what you want. Now, I don't know if the rarity means, you know, a higher number, better quality. I'm not sure on how that works. I'm still trying to figure out all the little different stuff on that because I think it just varies on that. I mean, I would figure a five for rarity and five on difficulty would mean you're going to get better quality. Because look at the bottom one there, where you got to take five greens and four pulsars. Because that that would be a good one. But I just keep scanning until I find something good. And I've been just doing the pulsar court ones. Well, anyways, let's go see what we got here real quick with the all the chips we got. Okay, we got the light box. Solar quartz. Oops, turn my light off. Solar quartz. <laughs> of course, we got solar quartz twice. Tree planter. And those other two are duds. Which I had a feeling they were. Alright, so we do have the ability to make the solar quartz, and I doubt they're made in here. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering if we can take apart a quartz. Or a tree. Can we take apart a tree? I got quite a few of them. Let's see. Then we'd know how to make a tree. We on the button? Nope, can't take trees apart yet. Oh, what the heck is on there? Huh? Did we take it apart? Hang on. Hydration. Come on. This water is so damn tricky. Screw it. I got a bottle of water. I have never had so many problems in this lake I'm next to with getting a drink of water. Alright, wait a minute. That's just... How did we get bark and T4? There's no way. Oh, uh, no, no, no. No way. It wouldn't be in that anyways. Alright, let's go find out. 
That would be a true thing. That would be awesome if we just got that, but I think that was just something laying there. Is there something else laying there? All right, now I gotta go see. Maybe we missed something. Nah, I don't think so though. Usually they don't come apart when you first get something like this. No, okay. Well anyways, yeah, we got the uh, new trees. We got this, uh, oh yeah, we gotta go back over there. I want to see, because I don't have that machine here, for the quartz. Who makes the quartz? That new yellow one. You do! And the solar quartz, nitrogen, sulfur, and obsidian. Interesting. Um, and you can make the flares, by the way. I found that out, and I have a setup for making flares. Not that you really need to make flares, because if you go into enough of those POIs, you get tons and tons and tons of flares. So we can make those if we want. And oh, actually, we got the box, too. Um, let's see, can I disable that? Yes, you disabled it. No. Sometimes it lets me, come on, let me disable. Not disable. Okay, I got my mouse back. Where's that box at? That light box right there. Need. Come on. Fine. Okay, two silicon and a solar quartz to make a light box. So let's see what light box is. Why not? We got everything over there. And we got tons of those solar crystals. And silicon. I know we got silicon. I'm just gonna run over here because I know we got it. No, you're not silicon. No, you. There you go. Silicon. We make one light box. Oh, and this yellow fuse I have. I'll show you. I found this. Trade rocket multiplier fuse. Insert the fuse into an optimizer to increase speed of nearby trade rockets. Right now, trade rocket takes about nine minutes from the time it launches to the time it gets back. So I'm hoping to find more of these optimizers. We cannot make them on the optimizers, these little fuses. Okay, let's go grab a gem out of here. All right. Hey, come on. I'm trying to make a gem. Or make a light box. Where can I make it? Above the ground? Oh, you can't. You gotta sit above the ground. Oh, you're partially in. Fine, right there. Oh, it's yellow. Oh, we can change color. What color you want this thing to be. Come on, can, oh good, I can use mouse. How about blue? What is that? Oh, that's my rocket. <laughs> well, that's the light box. I wonder if we can put them inside. Oh yeah, we had something else too. We had some kind of hologram thing. Oh, we get the tree. Super and fertilizer too. Let's get a tree out here, and we got a hologram projector. Um, I don't can't remember how to. Oh yeah, I need to need my mouse. My mouse. How do we pop that up on the? Screen? Okay, here it is. that one's up. That one's up. Okay, not that I can see that. Blinded one, I can't see out the other. All right, we need a blue gem. Got plenty of blues. Give me a blue gem. 
And uh, I need super alloy, super. Man, this is a weird storm. Just to see what these are like. Super and a super alloy. Uh, super alloy rod. Give me a super alloy rod. And a super, which is over here. Super. And then some fertilizer T2. Which this ain't marked, but I knew it's over here from doing all the planting I've been doing. We'll see what these are. Put it all on our new platform out here. All right, how about our tree first? Fountain tree. Um, no, I don't want it over there. Put it here. Oh, I guess we got to plant a tree. Which one do we have? Um, we got three and three. Blue one's 12, that one's 12, so don't make it over in top of the yellow one. Wow, you grow fast! Holy moly! Well, that's sort of cool. Then we get a nice little tree out here. Okay, now the other one. It's a hologram projector. Oh, you're tiny! Well, I want another tree out here. Where do we want the hologram projector? That fuse is still going? Holy moly. Well, we got our fountain here. Oh, we'll put you over here, because I'm going to put that other tree over here. We're going to get another thing for a tree. Oh, well, what do you project? Can we access you? Oh, we can Air projector cookie. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Yeah, I'm not impressed with it. Um, how about if can we project a tree? Oh, it just projects that. I don't know what I want to project. Now, if it projected like that, uh, let's take you apart real quick, move you somewhere else. I'm going to get that other tree over here. Let's see what that other tree looks like. Uh, fertilizer and another gem. That tree looks cool. Wait a minute, that is all I need. Oh yeah, super, super. That's fertilizer and super. Well, I got a lot of those. You know, they sort of screwed herself because of all the points you get from doing these. Look at that. I'm at 600,000 points again. I got over 2 million Terra tokens. And it's like, what do you buy? I mean, there's nothing really new. And those energy multipliers, which I was buying like mad. Look at this. I don't need to buy any. There's the energy. This one here I might start buying. The uh, plant multipliers, but I really don't need that. And I've been finding tons of these. It's like, what am I supposed to do with them now? Oh, wow, that tree actually looks pretty cool. Nice orange. Uh, give it a little room. Room to grow. And we'll see what you got in ya. You get the blue one. Oh man, that's a nice color too. I can't wait to put the, these in our forest. And then get the multiplier on these things. Can't wait to start finding more of these. It's a shame we can't make these. Do I have food and water on me? Yes, I do. Yeah, by the way, one of the worlds I went into, the ship was underwater. When you do these worlds, I've been bringing two foods with and two waters. Bring whatever you feel necessary. Wow, that's actually 
gorgeous looking tree. They're probably a lot bigger than this when you plant them in the ground, I think, because you, you could probably put these inside. They're really good looking. Got to have light on. Really good looking. Screenshot. Yeah, well, that's hesitant. But yeah, anyways, when you go into these worlds, this is what the video was supposed to be about. Um, bring at least two food, two water with you. If you want, search the land first. Grab whatever you can grab. Get out. Bring it back. Keep uh, storage containers near your uh, Stargate portal, whatever you want to call it. Unload, reload, have food near her. Um, I was going to automate building those uh, yellow chips, but it's just making these boxes. And I wonder, can these boxes stack on each other? I don't have any silicone, because if they can stack on each other, that would look pretty cool. Well, anyways, hope this uh, video was helpful to you in any way. But going through, like I said, going through these portals, do all the pulsar ones first. Because pulsar quartz are easy to get, and then you can start stockpiling these. And one thing I will recommend you do is these chips start grabbing all the chips you can then when you start going into the higher tier ones take the ch take three chips with you and this way you don't have to look for the chips you find the goody goodies grab it i have not found a portal that has more than one ship yet but i haven't done the the bigger ones yet which i am planning on doing so if this was helpful, go ahead and smash that like button. I will do a few other videos uh, if I come across anything new. But until then, as always, enjoy whatever games you guys play, and I will catch you on any other videos. Alrighty, bye-bye for now. Hey, this is a short little add-on I wanted to do for you guys. Now, if you're looking for the effigy or any other good stuff, now, I've been going back and forth through these portals and yeah, my character is moving really quick. Now I have found both frogs. This is the Jumi and that's what the Jumi looks like and that's what the new effigy looks like. And I'll tell you where I found it in a second. And this is the other frog the Legolas. Now the effigy I found that in a 5-5 five, five difficulty one, which is this one here. Now these are the chords for it, if you want to write this down, if you, and you can see rarity 5, difficulty 5, I'm still looking through this one. I have found tons of quartz in here. And let me get some food and water, take a quick shot through here. Now, I think I found another ship in here, too. I've gone through one ship already. Oh, let me grab that one. I've been grabbing extra food, extra water in these. Now, I don't know if you can get more than one effigy, either. I think there's only one effigy. Oh, by the way, don't fly over the fireplace because you can get burnt. <laughs> Found out the hard way. Just take some health off you. Now you can see this is a cool looking world. And what also I've been doing is when you come across these, there's a lot of these around in the world. I grab that, I grab that, and then I drop these. That lets me know that I've been in that box. But there is a, I think this is the one I went in. Find out in a second. And these are a amazing maze. There should be, nope, this is the one I didn't go in. So, unless it reset itself, I'm going back out real quick. This will take an hour. There's roughly about an hour to go through these. 
So that means there are two in this one. Okay. This is the one I spotted on my way back. Ah, there's the other one. There is two ships in here. Here is the other ship. Just to confirm, there's two. You see, and I went in that one. Yeah, this one had the spiral staircase on the way down. So if you go in a five by five, there are two ships. And I would also recommend, because the portal doesn't close, look for these on the outside. Light box, I already got it. Because I have found more gems inside these, outside the uh, ships, than I found inside the ships. And I am not kidding. Uh, yep, I already did that one. But I'm going to go ahead and go through this one here. But I just wanted to drop this one on the end of that last video. Just so you know that if you're looking for the effigy, it is in the 5 difficulty and 5 ranking, whatever it's called. I just call it a 5x5. Five five. So, good luck, and I hope you guys find it. Till then, bye-bye for now.